combination of uh, a whole group of whole ass niggas that are hindering the truth of the story. <laughs> in all different types of dimensions and layers, man. Yeah. From the average crackhead on the street all the way up to somebody like General Gahena, man. Hey, well, think about the whole ass niggas that, that wandered in the wilderness for 40 years, man. Right. You know? And gave. And gave uh, Moses, right? yeah, that was given Noah. Here. Yeah, and that, and and that's just one example of of, of the, the whole plethora. His brother was bringing up the time. Whole ass niggas in Maccabees. Yeah, the yeah. whole niggas around Dan. Yeah, 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 whole niggas around. They always been Maya. there. Yeah, yeah. Right. whole ass niggas around. Just niggas have always been around. It has never stopped. Yeah, that's right. Right. Ezekiel was like, you know, the, the Lord had to open up a grove and Ezekiel to look at me like, oh, <laughs> oh, see what the, the yeah, 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 you see these niggas, you see these niggas, see these niggas? right? Yeah, the Lord had to basically send Ezekiel in a little hole in the temple, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 a little hole in the temple yeah. and say, go out to that forest yeah. over there, man, <laughs> and, so, and see what these niggas are doing, man. And it goes all the way up to the time of uh, when you look into the Maccabees, when you had the priest Menelaus. The hey, but they were the priests. Them the same the ones. High priest, man. Hey, they were the same ones yep. telling Israel to keep the law. Yep, the same ones that was there watching Antiochus build a temple to Zeus. Yeah. Inside of David's temple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Solomon's temple. Solomon's temple and, and King David, which was outside. You know. So, so you had all of that going on. Even now, you still have the same thing going on, man. With these guys that want to, that, that, that don't want to su succumb to the will of Yahweh and Yahweh and the truth that's actually being presented. You know? Well, just like the elect is always going to be here, the two are always going to be here. They're going to come back in their lives and talk the same old shit. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Until the Lord, until the Lord, uh, until the Most High sent His Son. Well, it man. says that that's, that's what it's gonna. That's what it's gonna. That's what it's gonna take to stop you niggas from being whole ass niggas, man. man how the, long? The coming, the coming of, of, of the Lord, man. Y'all gonna be some whole ass niggas until the Lord kill y'all, man. Huh? All right. Isaiah chapter thirty, verse one. Woe to the rebellious children that said, the Lord that taking, that take counsel. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Yeah, man, you guys come together, you make these different groups, you have all these different uh, breakdowns, you set up, you set up generals and elders, and you know, you take counsel, but yeah, you come to these two conclusions, but it's not us there. <laughs> right. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, yeah, that man. they may add sin unto sin. You guys are not covering yourself in, 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 the, in the truth of me, man. Nope. Alright, and but you walk around with so high and mighty, and you make you say indirect shots, like we're the mean guys, with your indirect shots. And you don't understand, and, and you haven't been given the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, that's another thing. You guys aren't straightforward with what you, who you're talking about. The men of the Lord, man, they said, them that sin, rebuke the fall. So if you think we're going off, call us out and tell us where we're going off at, man. But you want to play it safe, and we're not, uh, uh, what's the, we're, we're not confrontational. Yeah, but, I don't uh, want no problems. A part of our problems. heritage, if you read Isaiah 15, 54 and 7, 54 and... You don't have to get it. Well, you can, you know, but get it from him. But when you get that, it tells you that a part of our heritage is just to stir things up, man, condemn those that come against the world. Yeah, like some old step all calls. Right. That, that walk down to go down into Egypt and have not acts in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh yeah. and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, and that, ultimately that's what you do, man. You trust in the shadow of Egypt. You know? You're not trying to set the brotherhood up for redemption out of here. <laughs> Especially when you, when you... Yeah, exactly, man. Especially when you're going to say something absolutely ridiculous is that there's a Hebrew doctrine going out here right now. You don't have to worry about the name of the Lord. We don't know it on this side. All right. And then at the same time, you'll say that 
everything's not pure because we ain't all doing it. But then you won't recognize that that's what they're talking about. That that's what they're talking about in the book of Zechariah, the third chapter, man. The nations defile. Why is the nation defiled? Because they all going off, doing all types of shit. That's right. <laughs> You know? yep. The nation will be separate, will be holy, when we're on one accord doing this thing. Okay? That's how the nation's going to be become pure, man. Of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shem. Yeah, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that we can't know the name. It has nothing yeah. to do with that. It literally has nothing to do with whether or not we can know the name. Yeah. Yeah. It's just you being a jerk, man. Right. Because if you're going to say that about the Hebrew, and if you're going to say that about the, um, about the Greek, then what does that say towards the interpretation that you read here in the English? That means the, uh, the, the understanding from these words and letterings that are, that are in here, you can be getting the point. Because if you say a sentence a certain way, and use the same words, and but say it differently, it can change the whole meaning. Hey, well, wait a minute. Who's supposed to circumcise your son? No. Are you supposed to let a group circumcise your son? Yeah. <laughs> That's not how they did it. Are, are you supposed to let a, 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 a Elamite a, a circumcise your son? No. How many of you guys that went to the clinic had your little baby boy and got him circumcised by an Elamite? Yeah, yeah let me get a black doctor. You know, when he we, touches you. Yeah. Know, <laughs> but we can go all day on tip for tats in the law, man. We can go all day. That's the point of what I'm saying. Well, the, the big thing that, that's the problem is the spirit is not dealing with y'all, man. Right. Yeah, y'all trust in the shadow of Egypt. You trust in the shadow of Egypt. You don't have no faith, man. Yeah, do you, you, do you swab a big, a big glob of blood? We all go to each other little building. Wait a minute, I gotta get this. Boy, <laughs> yearling lamb. Yeah. Hey, we said that earlier. Hey, we said that you earlier. Know when they have their little Passover, where, where Lunkenberry is filming all the women, <laughs> do they have big clouds of lamb blood? Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, even if you did, even if you did go find you a little yearling, the spirit ain't dealing with you, man. But that's the point I'm trying to make. You know? But that's that's what I'm that's yeah, the that's, point I'm trying know, to make. You know? yeah, the, the point the brother's making, that's the same point I'm yeah. trying to make. Like we can go tip for We tat can go all tip day. for tat all day on the all law. Day. It but it, it is deeper than that. Deeper than the spirit that. gotta be working with you, man. Yep. Okay? Yep. Because we already know that we can't do the law perfect. That the, Peter said it in Acts the uh, 15th chapter. Oh, it's in Ezekiel. I'll, let me get you that know? in Ezekiel. Um, that we can't do. So, so we dealing with the spirit of Yahweh by Shem uh, 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 Now, you had that guy go into uh, what was that? Who's that? Acts the 17th chapter. That where it said it was talks about an un unknown God, and they still trying to use the scripture that's talking about incommunicable. They what is it? a communal? We talking about this that one time? A communicable disease. Yeah, a communicable disease is a de disease that can be passed along. That doesn't mean that the disease doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. It's yeah. not saying that the name yeah. don't exist. It's, it's just not. It has able. nothing to it's do. It's just not communicable to those idols. To that particular. Come on, man. You people are crazy. Man. It's not communicable to 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 uh, uh, Baal. It's not communicable to to um Allah. It's not communicable to. Rob. It's not being able to be passed on, basically. Yes, man. that's what the, the the name is only a uh, can be placed upon one entity, and that's Yahweh. That's right. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Yeah, so it's not it's an incommunicable like name there. Okay, but y'all too far and proud, and the spirit's not dealing with y'all to understand that scripture because if it meant what you said, you contradicting a whole of history and prophecy, man. That's right. That's written. That's right. Okay? And it's not the scripture that's contradicting this itself. It's that you don't have understanding. You got well, that? Well, Go ahead. So, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired <laughs> and on. searched diligently. Right. Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Uh-huh. Search. So like, Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which was in them, did signify. That's what. That's the point, man. 
that the spirit of Yahweh shall dig, 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 it didn't dig by you guys, man, because y'all go, you guys going into the word of the Heavenly Father and totally turning shit upside down, man. Shit, you know, well, they doubt you this shit. No, the word you said the word. I said they turn, they 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 going into the word and turning things upside down. Right. Okay, y'all going off. All right, go ahead. When he testified beforehand the suffering of Yahweh Shai and the glory that should follow, mm -hmm. unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us. They did minister the things which are not which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from the heaven, which things which things the angels desire to look unto. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your mind, be sober, yep. and hope to the end. Yep, and but, that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. You guys are not setting up that spirit. That's you guys right. are not setting up uh, setting up that process. Order. We got these feel good Bill Cosby Israelites out here that refuse to teach the hard and rough things in the scripture. And hey, you got niggas like that among GMS, man. You, you, you fucking yeah, you huxtable guys. niggas, church man. Guys. You, you ain't nothing but a bunch of huxtable niggas, man. Yep. We got guys in this camp, man, that we had to break from that stupid ass spirit, man. Yeah. That's a dumbass spirit. Right, man. We ain't in time for all that. Why, why, why get comfortable in that when you know it's all going to be destroyed? Building a weak ass gate around the what I nation. call what well, I call decorating your hell. Yep. I know we in hell, but yeah. you know I gotta be there. Yeah, let me go ahead. Let me yeah. 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 Try to get the shit all together in hell, man. Yeah. You should be concentrating on building something to blow up this motherfucker. Get out of here. And that's the word of the Heavenly Father. That's what's gonna get you out of here. That's right. Okay? That's what's gonna set this place ablaze. That's if you right. focus on preaching this thing the correct way, everything in it, even if other people don't accept it, man. What if some did not believe? Just because your heart is trembling on, on everybody picking that up. Now, okay. Yeah. Faithless cowards. Because that's really what you are. Faithless cowards. Women. That's right. Feminine. And the reason, like, for instance, I know we, we talk, we, uh, we talk about Nate a lot, but um, the reason we talk about Nate is because Nate, man, you know you ain't doing the right thing, man. You know there's a whole lot of apologies you owe a whole lot of people publicly, man. You know it, man. He, he knows good and damn well, man. You know? Was there more on that? Huh? Yeah, I just Okay, go ahead. For the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of your house, child, Mashiach. Yep. And that's what, and that's what, that's what we're talking about. All right, this is our Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 24. It says, Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh, and they shall see peace, and there shall be none. Mischief. That's not what's prescribed. Yeah, let me keep reading though. You gotta let me keep It says, Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest, and counsel from the ancient. The king shall mourn. In other words, we was gonna be in a situation where we wasn't gonna be able to perform those things, man. The law gonna perish from the priest, man. Now the scripture say that we are a whole nation of kings and priests. Then it says the king shall mourn and the prince shall be clothed with desolation and the hand of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way and according to their deserts yep. uh, uh, will I judge them and they shall know that I am the Lord. Yeah. That I am the Lord. We've been going through that process over and over again, man. And we in the process right now. And we dead smack in the middle in of the worst, in, in, in the, the worst, worst condition of all time. Of all time, yeah. What are you talking about? No. So we gotta deal, we gotta deal in, in, in the spirit of faith before you deal in the in, in the spirit of the law. Okay. I guess Abraham was wicked. Because when the Lord imputed righteousness to him, he was uncircumcised, or well, he was wicked. He paid tithes to Melchizedek before Levi was even born. He was wicked. You know? These people are crazy, man. 
This is uh, Acts 3 and 16. This is just after uh, Peter and John healed the, the man who couldn't walk. This is uh, Acts 3 and 14. It says, But ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom the Most High hath raised from the dead, whereof ye are witnesses. We are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, have made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is in him hath given this man perfect soundness in the strength in the presence of the Lord. Hey, that's clear. You ain't even got to break so, that down. So why would you preach against that? Because <laughs> you going off. Because the Spirit's not dealing with you. The Spirit Proud. ain't dealing with you, man. Proud. Unless you repent. Proud. Then the Most High might dwell with you in complete understanding. You know? Don't, and don't get it twisted like we on some type of high horse, like we we, we screaming down from the mountaintop like we think we the elders or something. It's just a point of doctrine. Yep. It's a point of doctrine and defending the gospel. Hey, but the elders are not even doing that. No. They're just telling you to do the right thing. No. they just telling you to do the right thing. They're not screaming down like they some top men. Now, Elder Tahar mentioned the fact that we talk. And when we were talking to each other, we were talking to each other like men. It wasn't no, you know, look, brother, you know? And he just talked to one of the elders, man. And I, I could tell by his mannerism that it wasn't no, look, Ariella, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you know, such and such situation. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like that, man. It, yeah, give me 50, like, but time. <laughs> Who lied and said that I told them to do yeah, this? Got a nigga doing pinky push-ups. Yeah, man. You know, it's not like that, man. It's just a, it's just a matter of uh, sound doctrine. Right. It has to be fleshed out, and that's gonna be the vision. Because this is uh, Micah three and eight. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Yep. And then. of the Most High standing sure, having the seal, the Lord knoweth them that are His. The Lord knoweth them. They're like, going with the that, that elect is going to be reared uh, up and glorified in that day. But there's a certain requirements of how they're going to be. They're going to have faith, man. They're going to be out there preaching. Is it going to say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it's going to say? What it's gonna say? <laughs> yep. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, depart from iniquity. No. No, man. And, and knowing that name is, is a part of knowing his actual name and, and putting together his characteristics with that, with that actual name. Oh, yeah, like you got this guy, Yahweh Yah, from uh, Chicago, talking about the name means Yahweh Sage. That's not what the name means. That's not what your house shot name me. And them brothers in Chicago got on your ass, man. They, they aired you out, man. They straight this bitch on your box. They aired this dude out. Yo, 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 man. Big bitch. He said that the, the name Yahawashai means Yahawashai. That's not what it means. Yahawashai means he deliverer. That's what it means. Okay? It means he delivers, he delivers, he saves. Okay? Got the yah in there. But you know what? The spirit ain't, and he actually said on the video, he said, Yahweh Yah, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, man. He actually had a video with, with a Satan, put it in his mind to say, to say Yahweh Yah, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> He ain't gonna take it down. Hey, they're just whack. 
gets worse and worse. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, that will not hear the law of the Lord, will say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Yeah, prophesy deceits, man. That's what the, that's, that's why you have those congregations. Pull yeah. all the women, eat fruit, roll up, gummy bear, you know. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, America, America's about to be destroyed, man, you know? That's the main thing we got to get through the people on this. You know, we got to teach them to come back to their nationality, to the law. But uh, another important thing that America is going to be destroyed, man. And you need to come out of the ways of this, this, this bullshit, man, you know? And you all up there wasting time pity-patting and talking shit, man. Meanwhile, the white man is coming, you know, doing all types of works, man. Yeah, yeah me and these me and these brothers did a sit down this past weekend showing you the, the, the nefarious acts. And we couldn't even get in all this, into all this. Brother, I was kind of upset, you know, because, you know, he had, I sent him so many articles, he looked up so many articles, you know. This brother was looking up a lot of precepts and all that. But, I mean, it would have lasted, what? Then there's three hours, dude. Yep. It would last like three hours for us to go just in one week's work of the wickedness of the white men. Man. We ain't talking about years work, man. This is no shit. <laughs> hey, yeah, any of you brothers, man, come on, man, step up. Y'all get some new readers. Switch. Switch. Hey, come on, man. Snap to it, man. Get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. Right, so, so, and part of that is that name, that safe tower. 
all right? That's part of that, knowing that name and praying to that name and believing. Having faith plus works, like the brother was saying earlier, man. Go ahead. Uh, verse 3. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the feet, uh, for they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. And we shall tread down you so-called white people who are Edomites. All right? In that day, man. Right. But see, our people so damn stupid, they don't want that. Two-thirds of our people don't want that, man. Even certain people that so-called themselves, they ain't the truth, don't want that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They're too busy on their knees, trying to, still trying to please Esau. Trying to find his way up in there. Right. Nah, man, Galatians 3, 3, 3 and 16 say, what has one seed? Not as many, but one. All right? All right. Because you're speaking about two-thirds, and we're speaking about these false teachers, somebody... I said the scripture in my mind just a second ago. Second um, Corinthians 5 and 11. Because you just mentioned how we basically coming out here and using, you got to have the fear of the Lord, which is what we out here teaching. Second Corinthians 5 and 11. So you got you assholes out there teaching this, this doctrine where you got to, uh, um, this whole lovey dovey Huxtable doctrine, as the brothers put it earlier. You, you, you ain't teaching nobody to fear the Lord. The reason why they teach this is because that's how they look at, at, at the Lord, man. They think the Lord is all about lovey dovey and bringing uh, good things into your life, man. The Lord is about balance. There's going to be a lot of pain and wrath that the Lord is going to bring. You still He's destroy these other nations, man, by them. You still look at the Lord as, as baby Jesus in a the manger. Right. They're like, like, like the damn Catholics and the assholes in the church do. This is how you look at, at the Lord. There ain't nothing fearful about that. You don't look at the Lord as someone who's going to bring destruction, who's going to come with fire, like it says in Isaiah 66. That's Read that real quick. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. No one therefore the terror of the Most High we persuade men. No one therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade men. So we know through reading the prophecies, through reading the scriptures, how, what the Lord is capable of. Yep. We know how he can do it. I mean, the brother always says that, I mean, he, he, the Lord created oxygen. The Lord created the, 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 the heaven and the universe. He created gravity. He created all of them. So what's not to be feared about a power like that? He created your black asses out there. But when, uh, but when you go into the history, the heathens knew about the power of the Most High. They, yeah. feared, they feared the Israelites because they knew when, when the Lord was behind them. Oh, man. Get Get the Lord was behind him. Somebody get Judas the fifth chapter. You couldn't mess with Jake. Well, finish reading that. You couldn't mess with Jake, man. That's but now they turned the scriptures around to make Jake docile, man. Because yep. as as they were teaching so-called Christianity and the Bible to Jake, and and when we were in our worst captivity, they were te teaching Jake love everything, be nice, forgive right. and forget. Right. <laughs> love you, love everything while they were getting their backs with, man. Hey, the other nations once feared you, now they learn to make mockery of you. That's, That's right. You see, uh, 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 you'll see gooks and chinks and all these other whack ass nations walking around. They have a big gold chain and some ridiculous sagging right. jeans and some Tim's on looking and with a hat tilted to the side. Yeah, trying to talk like niggas. Hey, they make mockery of you. Well, at one point in time, they're actually scared of you. That's right. You know how scared they, are, they were of the Most High and, and his people when we came up out of Egypt? When we were taking down nations during the time of Joshua and Judges, or, or, or Joshua, I should say? You know how scared the nations were? Now we come to the point where a nigga, any nigga on the street can get looked at as a damn coon. Or just that, a nigga. A byword and a proverb. Something to be made fun of. You know what? You know what? That's part of like that. That's part of them curses, like man. That. Like that, right there. Right. Yeah. That's part of them curses. Go ahead, bro. No, I was saying, that, 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 that whole thing is part of them curses. Gonna, yeah, so yeah. even though he brought, he he flipped it on us and brought us that low, but guess what, man? Yep. That's our own goddamn fault, man, as a people. That's the whole yeah, point yeah, of coming yeah. back to the Lord. Right. Yep. Saying, in truth and sincerity, to actually acknowledge what the brother is saying, acknowledge that, look how he put that on us, man. At, yeah. at one point, we were, yeah. we were feared and known as the holy people, yeah. and our God was the uh, only God on the planet, in the, in the universe, to, I'm saying, we jokes and niggas and fools and buffoons, man. 
Yeah, if we we're in our power right now and some shit like that went down, he would have been put to death immediately. The whole car would have got it, would have been blown up on the spot. That's right. We would have had our power right now. We look, he would have been vaporized right there. Or well, if we were in ancient times, we would have ran up on his ass, snatched him out the car. Yeah, like Mr. Manhattan. If we were back in the ancient times, we would have ran up there, snatched him off his chariot, beat the shit out of him, and then killed him. Or just killed him on the spot. We finish with that. Uh, what we are made manifest unto the most high and our church also are made manifest start up start up slide start up, start up. Start up. Uh, first second Corinthians 5 and 11 knowing therefore the terror of the most high we persuade men see and that's the problem with you assholes that is calling yourself teachers like Nate like this new assholes that popped up the future of Israel not like bubble eyes like a uh, 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 um, 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 some other assholes that I'm forgetting. I, yeah, yeah, they are niggas. All, all you niggas just lump you up into one, which is two thirds. That's the problem with you. Instead of teaching our people the fear of the Lord and what He could do to you, you teach them how, how do you uh, 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 how to love your wife, <laughs> how to take care of your children, how to take care of your children. Just hold on, there. How to how to how to uh, um, so fringes properly on your garments. Yeah. Instead of what the Lord could do to you if you don't, if you ain't right. Instead of when the Lord comes back, he's gonna burn everybody that, 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 that's, that's the two thirds amongst his nation and, and, and all the, uh, uh, um, the the heathens and other nations. In fact, yeah, like he just said, the Psalms 49 and 11 spirit. You don't think that the Lord's gonna come back and destroy this place, so you try to make yourself more comfortable. Yeah. Then you try to make yourself more comfortable, so then you you make your doctor more comfortable. Right. Instead of coming out of here re reproving and rebuking, you say, oh, that's all right. We just, we just got to do that. But the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is wisdom. Yep. The fear yeah. of the Lord is wisdom, man. If you won't get gain anything, it is. First, you got to fear the most high that he can destroy you at any point, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. That humbles your spirit and it gets you into it. Where you, really, where you have faith. Yeah. And upon that faith, you start believing in, in what the scriptures say and doing what the Lord said to do, man. Okay? But it begins with the fear of the most high, man. Yeah. You don't fear him because you don't fear the Lord when you oh he's gonna bring all these blessings into my life. That doesn't bring fear. Fear. When you know he's gonna ask you, man. That's right. That's what's like, alright, so let me make sure I'm walking on eggshells so I don't do nothing. Right. They can get me fucked up. Hey, 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 man. When the most I tell you, man, it's gonna be tongues gonna consume in their mouth. Yeah. The yeah. skin yeah. gonna fall where they stand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gonna burn out the eyes gonna, gonna melt out the goddamn eye sockets, man. Okay. That right there. I, hey, I said last week, I said, we're gonna go to YouTube and YouTube on nigga on fire, man. Yeah. Just watch it. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. And then read the scriptures. You know, especially, when the, <laughs> especially when the spirit ain't on his ass to stop dropping roll. Oh, when he just gotta take it. Man, please. That was, that, ain't, that ain't no picnic, man. Hey, that's good. Come on, man. She just scared the shit out of you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judy, yeah. Um, yeah. Over, what's that, over in Africa? Them, them, I'm they they called the thieves. Yeah. Right. Right. They lit his ass on Ooh, fire. Actually, actually, Woo, he didn't just die, bro. He didn't even Bad. die. He lived. Oh, yeah, he lived. That's what that's yeah, the sound of his ass. He was fucked up, too. His whole body was burnt to a damn crisp, right. but he lived. And still got to worry about some more fire. Now, he got, yeah, he got to worry about... Hey, he got to get burnt again. Yep. He got to get burnt up again. That's horrible. Hey, we're on the road uh, not too long ago, and there was a car on fire. It was like in the, in the emergency lane, and we're in the left lane. We just passed by it real quick. And the fire was so damn... You could feel the, hot, the, the heat inside the damn car, it was, and it was hot. Yeah. Well, just imagine having... A uh, 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 thermonuclear bomb, a whole damn city with that type of fire, but times a million. And you being trapped inside the fire with nowhere to go. And then on top of that, to know that the most, the most high is sending that, to, to know that, that judgment is coming, and there ain't shit you can do about it. You're just sitting there waiting to die. No, but I want to key back on the point that y'all brought up about how we were, how low we've got. Read that. Now, it's going to be that whole chapter. Judas 5 and... Oh, you start 17. You just talk about that. What does it say on 17? Uh, and yeah, we'll just stay in this room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, start at, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start 17. Judas uh, 5 and 17. And now, this, this is, uh, this, uh, his name is Akior, I believe. He was a, he was an Ammonite. He was a captain of the, uh, 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 of the host that was sieging, sieging uh, Israel when they were up there up on a mountain, right? 
And so this is basically what a man, a man said to Akio, I should say. This is a different person. This is a, I forget his name. Go ahead. And will uh, they see it not before their the God, they prosper because the Most High has hated the iniquity was with them. That hated the iniquity was with, with them. But when they depart from the way which yeah. he appointed. So basically them, when we were when we were with the Most High and doing what he said told us to do, the Most High was with us. So we were able to take down nations. Able to live in rule. Able to uh, do these great valiant acts. Able to use that uh, acts with, spirit, with spiritual power all through the history. David was able to go and take down nations. 10,000 10, men. Uh, uh, um, um, Samson was able to kill a thousand men with a jawbone. Right. Well, you think it feels just wicked and going off, you'd be able to do that? No. Go ahead, bro. They were, uh, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, yep. very sore. Oh. They were led, it's like, uh, go ahead, keep They were led uh, captives into a land that were not theirs. Now, what is the, 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 oh, brings up two points. The best example of that, you read a good example of that is the battle of Ai, when you read the book of Joshua. Now the Lord said when we go to, to conquer this nation, Lord, to don't kill everybody, men and women, and don't take shit from amongst them. But what did, what did Jake do? What did, was Ak, uh, uh, Akon, Akin, I can't remember yeah, his name. He took the Babylonian garment, the wedge of gold. So he got some, you know, he saw some fresh fits. And like a nigga, we going to, like if we were going to, to, to What's a rich neighborhood here in Dallas? Uh, we go to Highland Park. Lord told us to go wreck Highland Park. And, and J-Dog was with us and he saw a fresh pair of J's. Uh, an audience, uh, an audience of J's and he took it. Uh, and, yeah, and a, and a, and a, and a hat. Uh, a, a, a Kango hat. <laughs> and we are like, what the fuck you doing? And the whole side jack us up or something. And you know, it's the same thing that happened back then. He took the soul. What did, what did the Most High do? When, we when he took he took that wedge of, 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 of gold and the Babylonian garment in the next battle, of Ai, we got our ass whooped. And so Joshua's like, what, the, what is going on? And he's like, the Most High said, y'all, somebody amongst you is wicked. Somebody tripping. So y'all got to go find out who this is. And so he went house by house, person by person. He found this person out and said, well, you took that. I mean, at least the dude had fortitude enough to admit it when he got put, but, but he, he nigga was wicked. So they killed him and his family and everything he had, they stoned it with fire. Stoned it and it burned it with fire. Hey, that puts fear in the rest of the congregation. Right. Then, you know, they were like, man, I'm glad I didn't take that shit. Right. Damn. That nigga's that shit. So that, what is that? The fear of the Lord. All right. And then another point, he said, it said that uh, 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 to drive them into a land that is not oh, theirs. Oh, it, well, Peter uh, put uh, an Ananias and Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He read down on that, yeah, and it said right. it brought fear to the men and women. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Put their ass to death, man. Drop them, drop them right there on the spot. Everybody the rest of the like, congregation was like. <laughs> what? Let me make sure I'm. I'm not trying to hold no money back. Let me make that's sure I'm right. right. You know. Hey, look how it got us to the point we are now, because he said it should take us into a land that is not ours. How the hell do you think we got to America? The curses. Amos 3 and 1. Or 3 verses 1 and 2. He says, because you don't, you ain't doing what I did. This family, somebody get it. Amos 3 and 1 and 2. So I mean, these niggas ain't even scared what happened to us on this side. Yeah. That's why we keep the truth. I'm saying they like that. Like that's a uh, that's a pastime. That's just forget yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. I'm saying totally. That's point. But that that right there, along with all the stories that the brothers are bringing up, that's a recent uh -huh. a, a recent yeah. fear that should be in your head, man. That's a recent fear that should be in your head, but it's yeah. not in your head yeah. anyway. Yeah, the fact that, that us, thing. the fact that the most powerful nation was taken down by the by this red bastard right here. On this side, man. So from one side of the earth world all the way to the other, these people read the, read all the history. You read you read the, you read the Exodus, you read the Genesis, the Exodus. You read the law. You read the the, the Judges, Joshua, First and Second Samuel, the Kings, the Chronicles. You read all that. The, the Maccabees. Yeah. Read all them acts and we go, you mean to tell me that this asshole is the one that drug us all the way across the world? And there wasn't no higher power that said, us, that, that, said that was going to happen to us? For a specific reason? Go ahead, uh, 
Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Mean it up, you see, you're the only nation I'm dealing with that's concerning the laws and the statutes and the commandments. So on, so forth. Therefore, will I punish you for all your iniquities? I will punish you for all your iniquities. What does that mean? That means the, the fear of the Lord left this nation at one point. Okay. Instead of serving the Most High and His Son, we decided to go and serve all these other damn gods. So the Most High said, well, you know what? I'm going to put you under subjection, under the worst piece of shit on the planet Earth, and you're going to serve him. You're going to be, you going to fear him. Hey, Deuteronomy 28, it says that life shall hang in, in doubt before thee. So you got a lot of Jakes and scared as hell as a so-called white man. Look at him. Look at this. And they're nothing but that low piece out your camera on they're, they're the lowest of the low pieces of garbage on the planet Earth. The lowest, the so-called white man is the absolute, he's worse than the spit on the bottom of your damn shoe. But the most I set him up to make a point. If you, if, if you go against what I told you to do, I'm going to whoop you, I'm going to, this is what's going to happen to you. I'm gonna, yeah, he's going to sink that sword on you. Hey, hey, I'm saying that when you have a, like a son, you have kids, right? So you, you judge him and punish him for what they do, right? You might whoop the ass, you might stop inside the head. You might be rough than that. But see, the most I got the power to kill your ass and bring you back. So his judgment's on a whole nother level. His yeah. way is on a whole nother level. So the, yeah, the most I let you make it. So you just kill you. You, know, go, you go off, the most I be like, all right, you die. But then you go back to the spirit world, it's like, now look, this one will happen to you in this next life. Right, man, it's a whole other level, man. And you can come back, you can come back missing your feet, missing your eyes, retarded. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, I you could be, yeah, you be out there homeless, out there bad. Yeah, like, yeah, the video came out, I don't know if y'all saw this guy named Ronald Davis up in New York. Dude, he just had a little interview with him. Out there in New York, just, just trying to survive because he's homeless. Ain't no telling what he did in his past life. Right. You know, even when I saw the video, I was like, damn, that's fucked up. When you think about it, it's like, ain't no telling what he did in his past life. You know, he could have been a, a, a Uncle Tom in his past life. He could have, he could have sick a white man on us. He yeah, he could have been Steven off Django. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you don't know what that you did in your past life. That's how severe, that's how severe the Most High's judgment is. So going back to what we started with, that's why you got to teach these people to fear the Lord. Right. It's important to have faith, mercy, and judgment, and teach our people to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Right. You gotta have, you gotta teach that fear of the Lord. You gotta teach who that Lord is. You gotta teach His name. Cause the Lord ain't, the, the Lord ain't, is he's not baby Jesus in no damn manger. He is a somebody get uh, real quick. Get Isaiah 63 and uh, uh, about four. He's an austere man. Uh, yeah, it says that. What, what's uh, uh, Luke? It is Luke. Isaiah 63 by verse four. Whoever got it. Isaiah 63 and four. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. Now that's not the mindset of a, a baby and a man. That's a mindset of an austere, grown, angry man looking for payback. Yes, go ahead. In the year of my redeemed is come. So when he comes back, he's gonna execute vengeance on who? He's gonna get first. He's gonna get the, that asshole piercing on the cross. He's gonna then he's gonna decimate all the rest of the Edomites, along with you two thirds and your other nations. So if you're on his shit list, so to speak, then he's coming back to get, get revenge on you. Yeah, he's got revenge against two thirds of these people too, because guess what? These are the ones that are calling for his blood. They said, let his blood be upon us and our children. How much of an asshole do you gotta be to say some shit like that? You gotta be a wicked, wicked piece of garbage to say something like that. Then you, and then we read it earlier in a, a, a Acts the third chapter, Third chapter where uh, um, Peter was talking about how um, they were they they had a, a Barabbas, which was a murder let out to him instead of the Lord, who was the Savior. All because you, uh, assholes didn't want to believe. So the same nigga. It's the same niggas going. I think brother said earlier. Yeah, the same yeah, see, yeah. Going on the same cycle back. since the ancient times to now. Yep. Hey, can I say? Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. That, that baby, that baby that was in that manger grew, grew up to up. be this. Grew up. This is yep. what it grew up to be. Yep. 
Ain't no baby coming back. This is Isaiah 63. Okay. And Isaiah 60. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Thessalonians 4. Four you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, Isaiah 66. You know what I'm saying? This, this is who y'all gonna have. This is who. The, 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 this, this is this is who you supposed to fear. Him and his and him and the heavenly Father, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the express image of the Most High. This is the express image of Yahweh. So this is what he look like. You know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures. If y'all think if y'all thinking if y'all thinking that a baby is gonna come back passing out daisies and candy and hot wings and, and all that. You, you you are not knowing the scriptures, man. That's right. That's right. Yep. Hey, you like that on this brother was saying. Just like the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophet, the spirit of you niggas is subject to you niggas. You niggas. Right. right. So you come back in your life too. Right. right. Somebody had been a whole ass niggas back Somebody. in the day, right. man. Yep. Somebody. You know, everybody can't be the prophets yep. and the righteous man. Somebody right. had to come back right. and be the whole ass niggas you read about the Maccabees. Yep. You know, the scribes and the Pharisees, the niggas coming up against Jeremiah. See, was whole ass niggas in the garden of Eden. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's so, it was so much different. And that's balance. You gotta have a whole ass nigga to have the righteous. Right. That's and the right. Lord speaks about uh, balance and uh, what is that, proper of the left. Can't have hot without cold, left without right, light without dark, right. and righteous brothers without uh, wicked niggas. Right. Proverbs 9 and 10. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yep. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Yeah, the fear of the Lord will, will make you to begin to realize you just can't do any and all everything. So if you got if you just coming into the knowledge and you realize that someone tells you if you keep going if you keep doing such and such that the Lord's gonna destroy you, well then you if you got the fear of the Lord on you and you and you so be Lord willing one of the elect, you're gonna question, well, alright, what can I do? What can't I do? I can't eat oh, I can't eat pork no more. A righteous person be like, alright. Got it, but a wicked nigga be like, well what we gonna eat? Like the niggas that, Yeah. What, what we gonna do? We can nigga have that mindset. Right? That's it. Now read that wrong. About, about the Lord. Luke, okay. chapter 19, verse 21. This is for you, like when the brother put the sign up and said that this is what the Lord grew up to be. Just go ahead. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. That's what That's one of the, that's one of them whole ass right. niggas from back in the day, right there. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two chains. That's one of the. That's one. Of, that's one of the niggas right there, man. Yep. Yeah. Simple Yeah. Back then, the nigga walked by on a. Uh, on a donkey. Nigga was on a donkey <laughs> on a chariot <laughs> with a harp or something on a, on a, on a, on a ram's horn. The same shit. You know. Hey, look at you. Play, yeah. What a what a lord. Yeah. 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 Well, you got, well, yeah, when you, you, got Ezra, you got Ezra's and them teachers, you got them assholes. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Luke 19, starting at verse 12. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom. Now, this is a parable speaking about, that nobleman right there is talking about the Lord. Yeah, I'm shot. Go ahead. And to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds yep. and said unto them, Occupy till I come. And, and the Lord gave us, his, the, the Lord put the spirit on the elders to get us out here to do the work. That's what it means, Occupy till I come. Till the Lord comes back, we got to be out here doing this work to, to gather the elect of Israel. Go ahead. But his citizens hated him and sent the message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. Yeah, that's the Yahana, Gehenna, Nate. Definitely Nate, because y'all don't even want to exalt the Lord's name. Y'all say it don't matter. You said it's irrelevant. Right. You said it could be called your play, the right. yogurt. Not wanting to respect and order. Two-thirds two of yeah. this nation, they want the, the white version of Jesus, man. Yeah. They don't want the rough, hard version of Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Right. True. They want Jesus. They want Jesus right. to come back and give them high fives and uh, lollipops. 
And then, can I say this? The, the, the Jesus that y'all want, the Jesus that y'all want, is the one that's wreaking the most havoc on you niggas, man. Yep. That white Jesus is finna come up. We went into that last week, man. That white Jesus that y'all love so much, man, he finna bring hell on y'all, man. Hey, man, watch this. Dude. The ones that y'all want. I would say the one, the, 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 the Jesus that y'all want ain't even on your team, man. So what you? So what are you talking about? Wait, 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 what are you, you talking about? And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Yeah, so the Lord basically wanna come to he's like, so what are y'all been doing with, with, the, with the talent I gave you? With the, with this, the, 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 the money, the wisdom I gave you, what y'all been doing? You been putting it to good use or you been squandering it? You been, oh, you been sitting on it. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, But thou, good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. So this is a man who did the right thing. He went out, he got he got the he got the wisdom of the Lord. Well, according to Romans 10, faith come by cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. So he got the word of the Lord. He went and from glory to glory, got got all the, the, the knowledge he could, and he went out and talked. So the Lord said, look, you've been faithful over t uh, 10 pounds, be thou faithful over 10 cities. You got the kingdom. Go ahead. You. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. Yep. And he has said likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. So this is a, br a brother out there who made, who went on the same level as the brother who did, who, who, who uh, gained uh, 10 pounds, but he did what he had. he he used what the Lord gave him within his his measure. So the Lord said, "You are faithful over uh, over over this much. I'm gonna give you five cities." Go ahead. And another came saying, "Lord, behold, here was thy pound which I have kept laid up in a nap." So here's a nigga who who got got the knowledge. He may have been sitting in front of his computer on YouTube and heard the elders he been watching the elders. He may, he may not even been talking shit. He could have been watching, you could have been agreeing and everything, but he was too goddamn scared to go out and teach. Or even put a video together. He was just sitting there, he, he, he's, he's the, how you say, the comment board Viking. That's what I mean by talking Oh, con, con, con. Uh, uh, get on. Uh, great, get, great scripture. Great video. Great, man, y'all should have brought, the, the, you see the same screen name pop up 18 times with about 50 different scriptures. Yeah, Esau killer. Edomite slayer. Yeah, Edomite slayer. Remember that guy, Edomite slayer. You got that Edomite slayer spirit on you, but you ain't actually going out there to teach. Go ahead. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Yep. Go, stop. Read that again. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. So wait, me, you knew that the Lord was, if you knew that if you didn't uphold your end of the bargain, so to speak, that the Lord was going to come back and jack your ass up, yet you still didn't do what he told you to do. That's called not having the fear of the Lord. Go, stop. Read that. I got the word austere here in the uh, blue letter Bible. It means of, uh, of minded manners, harsh, rough, rigid. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So he's not, uh, the Lord ain't coming of, back. Of taste. The Lord ain't coming back. Uh, the, 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 the Lord didn't come back. Hey, hey, the scripture says when he was on the scene, I believe it's in Matthew, the third chapter, that he upgraded the cities where he went. So he didn't go in that lovey dovey spirit. He wasn't coming in no damn T.D. Jakes or no Joe Osteen damn spirit. He was, he was come back. He was whooping you niggas out, the, out of the house of, the, of God. He was cursing your ass out. There was a woman at the well who he just ignored. He wasn't coming in that damn lovey-dovey, love everybody, I want to hug spirit. He was coming back harsh. You know what? Through the harshness, he had balance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, certain situations, he did a certain way. Yeah, certain situations, he did another way. All depends on the situation. Right here, good. You know, when they ask him, I'm going to ask him, good on the set. You know what I'm saying? It's a balance. It's not like he wasn't doing good work. He went all Solomon on their ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jake is hard headed. Jake is that hard headed, so he had to cuss, he cuss their right, asses right, out. Right, right. A, a, a lot of the time. Go finish this. Thou takest up that thou latest, not down, 
and reapest that thou didst not sow. Hey, that proves, hey, the Lord got us, we're his servants. That proves that he's the master, we're the servants. Because the kingdom is going to, the, the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15 that everything's going to be put under his feet. We're going to be joint heirs of the Lord, but the Lord ain't out here doing the work. He's got us doing the work. That's right. I mean, that's what it talks about when it says, "Thou reapest without is not so." We the ones doing the work, so we can put. We're out here pushing forth His word to all the to the elect spread over the four corners of the earth, so we could be air with Him. That's right. And, and if we don't, then He'll He'll damn destroy us. And He said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee. Out of your own mouth. Judge thee. So, so you want to be a lazy asshole or a scared asshole and not go out and teach my word? And guess what? You just condemn yourself. Right. Thou wicked servant. Thou wicked knew servant. Call the wicked. <laughs> like, like the brother said. I was saying the brother might not even been in disagreement with what the elders or what the, the, the men of the Lord were teaching. Or what GMS was teaching. He could have been in agreement for whole complete, not had nothing bad to say, but because he didn't want to go out there and use the talent that the Lord gave him. Right. That's the that's the that's the equivalent to being Luke. Somebody get that Revelation 3, hold it on that. Revelation 3 15. He they called him being lukewarm, so the Lord said, you know what? I mean, your, your own words I'm used to condemn you, and you wicked. And I'm about to spew you out of my mouth. And you're gonna get cast now. Go ahead. Thou knewest that I was an austere man. Taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. So, nigga, you know what the, you knew what the deal was. What? Wherefore then, goes not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. So, in other words, why do you just go tell somebody so then they can put to you some other work, other talent? If you weren't going to do it, why don't you go tell somebody who could actually make use of it? Let somebody else take the torch instead of just sitting on it. And he said unto them that stood by, take from him the pound and give it to him that hath ten pounds. So the Lord said, right, take what he got, take his knowledge and give, give it to the man who's actually putting in work. Go ahead. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away yeah, from so him. With you, so even what you don't, what you think you got, which is nothing, the Lord's going to even take that from you. The Lord can completely buck your ass out. You have you looking like the top. Have you looking like Sarge, that crazy maniac. That nigga, that, that, he's, a, he's a goddamn lunatic, a psychopath. Sir. Solomon said 